Welcome back to another segment of The DLA in the News. For more valuable content from the DLA Guru that will help empower you for success with the DLA, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Let's do this together. Welcome back to another segment of The DLA in the News. DLA to explore advanced technologies, small business innovation at R&D Industry Collider Day. August 24, 2023. Article written by Christina Panichel, Fort Belvoir, Virginia. The Defense Logistics Agency, Research and Development Team will host Industry Collider Day, September 11, 2023 at the McNamara Headquarters Complex. This year's theme is, Forging Tech Forward Connections to Enable Proactive Global Logistics. Attendees from government, industry, and academia will participate in interactive sessions, to share knowledge that supports military readiness, and national security. Student clients, welcome back to another reaction today, brought to you by the DLA Guru. Before diving into today's reaction, I know all of my subscribers are probably saying, look at that cool background. Yes, I decided to do something a little different by incorporating virtual backgrounds in some of my content just to give you guys a different look and feel to make things more aesthetically pleasing as well as it's kind of fun. I've never done anything quite like this before, so I wanted to give it a go. And I really like some feedback from you to leave down in the chat. If you guys do like my virtual backgrounds or if you prefer uh, non-virtual backgrounds, please, you know, leave me a comment. But uh, before again, dive into today's uh, uh, reaction. Also, please hit the like, share and subscribe button to this video so they can stoke the algorithm. So my content can get out to more and more people. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that you can always be abreast and notified of all the new uh, content releases that I plan to release in the near future. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into today's reaction. Today we'll be talking a little bit about the 2023 Industry Collider Day. It's going to be held next month, September 11th, 2023. And this, this particular industry day is sponsored by the DLA, and it's going to be held in Fort Belvoir, Virginia at DLA headquarters. I will definitely be there in the flesh. So if you live in the, in the uh, D.C. area or near Fort Belvoir and you're interested in, in getting involved and finding, more about, finding out more about uh, what the DLA is doing as it relates to uh, industry, I think that this will be a great conference for you to attend. And... Let me know if you plan to be there. Shoot me an email at fed.contracting at nmsupply.com because I would be definitely interested in meeting you in the flesh uh, if you happen to be in the building on that day as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into today's reaction. And pardon my dust because I'm kind of working some new software and trying to figure my way through this so it may not flow as, as seamlessly as some of my other videos have, but just work with me. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll down here. DLA to explore advanced technologies, small business innovation, and at Research and Development Industry Collider Day. All right, great article, really small article, but great because it gives you a lot of information about this industry day and how it relates to research and development across the DLA. All right, so you'll see there are a couple of hyperlinks that are in this particular article. And again, uh, it's a very small article, um, very short article, I should say. And so I've already pre-clicked some of these uh, particular links. So this paragraph here in particular, DLA R&D experts will also detail their progress on agency manufacturing technology and logistics research programs that focus on additive manufacturing, supply chain management, sustainability, battery improvement, and energy readiness. Pretty cool, pretty cool, right? So this link takes you to this page, and this is the DLA Research and Development uh, page on their website. And when I was perusing this website, and again, all the links for the article and the different websites I'm talking about, I'll put it in the description below, as well as the link to how you could also register for the Industry Day uh, for free. And I think you have to register pretty quickly as well because I think they're going to be closing 
uh, the gap on that, I think, as effective September 1st. So you have a couple of days uh, to get registered. So as I was uh, looking at this website here, and I think I've reacted to the R&D website in the past. I think I have another video on my catalog that talks a little bit about additive manufacturing and 3D printing. But um, great website for you to peruse, especially if you're interested in manufacturing technology or your, your company as a small or medium-sized business or a large business who may be new to the DLA or interested in getting into uh, like actual manufactured goods. This is a great source for you guys to get involved because um, they talk a, a lot about the DLA strategic uh, initiatives, their strategic projects as it relates to uh, what they're doing to support their customers. So I'm not going to go through each one of these links, but just kind of I'm just scrolling through it so you can kind of see some of the uh, information that this website will uh, contain. However, I got really excited when I got to this section here about the BAAs, which stands for Broad Agency Announcements. And these are actually contracts or, or uh, proposals, or, or I should say RFPs, requests for proposals, uh, that are out there where you may be able to get contracts associated with uh, participating or supporting some of these initiatives. And for example, um, you know, a lot of us, my company in particular, we have sold batteries uh, to the DLA. And there is a broad agency announcement, a BAA, that's out there active right now it's an idiq type contract and again if you just right click on this and open it in a new tab and what this is going to do is going to take you straight to sam.gov so this is also a great um, way of looking at how sam uh, relates to the dla because if you're selling products of course you're going straight through divs but if you want to sell services or get into research and development you have to go through sam and so on the R&D website, there are a bunch of BAAs that you may be interested in taking a look at. Highly recommend you take a look at them because if you're into, into, into batteries or you want to get more involved in the batteries and find out what the DLA is doing as it relates to R&D for batteries, uh, this is a great site. Uh, well, Sam shows there's an active uh, broad agency announcement and it's sponsored by uh, the DLA. And uh, again, you can go down here and get registered make sure you click the follow button uh, which is right here in the right hand corner uh, once you, you know, I guess log into your SAM account and download uh, the RFP where you can take a look at all the requirements if you are interested in seeing if your company can assist the DLA with this uh, there's also contact information so again I don't talk a lot about SAM on my channel because I'm more product focused but I thought this is a great uh, opportunity for uh, you guys to see what the DLA is doing as it relates to research and development. Uh, now, back to the Industry Collider Day. Let's click on this tab here. So when we scroll down, uh, the, I, the ICD, which is Industry Collider Day, they're actually going to be awarding contracts against these BAAs on this day. Um, and so it'd be kind of cool to be there in the audience uh, to to learn more about how the who these companies are to network uh, to navigate meet stakeholders within the DLA highly highly recommend you guys consider this particular conference and here is the link to how you get a free registration for general admission um, I'll again put the link to this Eventbrite um, uh, registration page for you and uh, I recommend you guys go in here once you click on there take a look at it I think there was a link yeah in here it tells you what's going to be happening like at least like a schedule of events it's going to be talking about advanced um, micro circuit emulation you got forging casting battery stuff and of course you know I'm very interested in learning more about additive manufacturing and so I'm really excited about you know what this conference may have to offer and uh, just kind of a way to shake hands and and, and hopefully depart friends and get some great contacts along the way uh, for our company and yours as well. Now, for those of you that can't make this particular event, don't fret because my plan is definitely to uh, provide uh, some reactions to me being there at this conference and 
and being able to, well, hopefully I can get some real good footage and things like that that I can share with you guys via the channel. I haven't decided if I'm going to uh, showcase it through uh, the general uh, YouTube channel or if we may, I may do some live streaming and provide that uh, for our members only content. Um, but it all depends on what, what I can do when I'm actually there. Uh, let's see. Another thing I wanted to talk a little bit about was when you go to register, if you plan to attend the event, there is also another pre-enrollment requirement that you're going to need to do when you're there. And that pre-enrollment requirement is going to basically be, uh, it's a department, since this is a military uh, installation, you'll have to go through uh, this site in order to register. Uh, like, I guess you have to put some of you know, your, your personal identification information in there and whatnot. And it's about, I think, about seven questions that they ask you, your driver's license, um, you know, your date of birth, uh, your home address, things like that. So they can verify who you are before you're able to gain access. And I think you have until September 1st to get this information in. But not to fret. Uh, once you click on this link here and just basically get registered, reserve your spot, you'll get an email that gives you all the next steps that you'll need to do that day. That, you know, after you register, you'll get an email that, that same day that you register with uh, the next steps of how you uh, get set up. But again, I'll put the links to all of these websites uh, that I'm talking about in the description below. And um, yeah, so this reaction is more of a, a, an announcement more than anything about the um, 2023 um, Industry Collider Day uh, sponsored by uh, the, the, the DLA. And uh, hopefully uh, this excites you guys. And um, for those of you who are new to my content or are new to my channel, um, also look at the description below because I have links of how you can get more engaged uh, with a master class that I offer and that helps you get boots on ground uh, to getting uh, your company set up and working with uh, yours truly, the DLA Guru, and also your journey on uh, being an effective company to uh, go after uh, DLA uh, solicitations via the, via the, uh, the Dibs Bitboard system. Uh, as well as learning more ins and outs on how to do business with the DLA, the world's largest customer. Ah, so I will end my reaction at this time and I will switch it back over to let Parker Winslow uh, take us on home and I'll see you guys at the top. DLAR and D experts will also detail their progress on agency manufacturing technology and logistics research programs that focus on additive manufacturing supply chain management sustainability, battery improvement, and energy readiness. As during previous ICDs, small business attendees have the potential to receive on-the-spot contracts. In response to solicitations DLA previously issued for R&D proposals, on several technology domains. The solicitations, known as broad agency announcements, included detailed problem statements, and challenges the agency faces. Two new BAs were added this year to address 5G smart warehouse modernization and acquisition modernization. DLAR and D anticipates adding another BA in 2024 for research related to strategic and critical materials supply chains that have been compromised by decreased or abandoned domestic mining and refining activities or lack of domestic manufacturing. ICD is part of DLA's industry engagement plan, and supports warfighters and federal customers by resulting in more effective collaboration with industry, and a stronger supply chain. Register for ICD and learn more about the agenda, pre-enrollment and base access at Eventbrite, or contact the R&D team for more information. This now concludes another edition of the NMS e-learning systems, the DLA in the news. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell, so that you can always be abreast of new audio narration segment releases, brought to you by the DLA Guru. Thanks again for watching. I'm Parker Winslow, signing out. Thanks for watching. Also, if you find my related content inspiring, please show your support by hitting the like, share, and subscribe button, along with the notification bell, 
so that you can be alerted when I drop new relevant content to empower you for success with the DLA. Also by doing so, you'll help me reach a larger audience of people who may be also interested in learning more about government contracting and doing business specifically with the world's largest customer, the Defense Logistics Agency. Please don't forget to check out my flagship masterclass, Eight Steps to Successful Federal Supply Contract Bid Submissions to the DLA. This masterclass provides a balanced approach to virtual education and is designed for both beginners and seasoned companies alike with proven techniques on the best way to position your organization to being successful with winning federal supply contracts with the DLA. The masterclass contains three and a half hours worth of content along with proprietary and recommended software tools designed to empower you for success with the DLA. Check out the links provided in the description below to learn more today.